So I'm sure it's going to be of no surprise to you that ever since COVID has been announced and has been spreading this year that there has been a huge uh, spike in people who are experiencing germophobia or have a high level of anxiety when they think about germs. So I just wanted to share the difference between having a healthy level of concern versus germophobia. So if someone who has a healthy level of concern would essentially take precautions to avoid the probability of bringing uh, the disease or the, the germs on. So for instance, they might um, wash their hands more often, they might uh, avoid going to places where there's going to be a lot of people, um, and they might do other things preventatively, like either have their seasonal flu shot or take more vitamins or make um, dietary adjustments to better support their immune system. So the healthy level of concern uh, people typically take a lot more action, but they don't end up really thinking too much about it. So there's no worry or negative emotion associated with it. They just do the behavior and then they move on to the next thing. Versus someone who has germophobia, um, there's a plethora of differences with three main red flags being that um, the level of fear and concern puts a drastic limitation on what the person will do what they'll or where they will go um, and they'll probably end up staying home a lot um, and probably not leave very frequently only if they really have to the second thing would be that they would eventually um, hopefully get to a place where they have this realization that perhaps this fear is irrational but they feel like there is nothing that they can do to change it and that they're completely powerless over it and that they're just always going to be anxious when they think about the germs um, or COVID or the bacteria or what have you. And then the third red flag would be that um, they typically will establish some form of routine. Um, and if they're not able to successfully fulfill the routine or if the routine gets cut off or if they're not able to do any part of it, that there's going to be a huge spike of anxiety, they're going to feel very out of control, um, and they will typically um, end up just feeling a lot more anxious. So if you're noticing that you're experiencing some of these red flags, please, please, please reach out to us if you have a loved one or friend or family member who has really um, heightened level of anxiety around germs. Uh, we are absolutely able to support them. Our highly rated counselors would love to be able to help you heal and become happy again. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you found this to be helpful for you, please um, give this video a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends and family. Um, and to leave us a comment about what else would you like us to talk about. Um, our intention and our mission at Make and Wellness is to help millions of people heal and become happy again. And it is likes and shares and comments by viewers just like you that help us to successfully advance that mission. So thanks so much, and we look forward to seeing you next week. See ya!